1337 FM. Nerd Talk Radio. Engage. Welcome to 1337 FM Nerd Talk Radio. Why am I screaming? I, uh, I, I don't know. Because <laughs> I'm excited. Because you you're excited. You're not really screaming. You're just no. sort of like. You're talking your level, louder. It's than... like your levels are up, but your levels are down. High I'm pitch, low tone. With much enthusiasm because I feel like it's been a while since we've been. It has been. It has together. been. together. too long. The Christmas, Christmas has just kicked our arse, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah not mine. <laughs> well, I mean, in terms of us getting together, it's yeah. just... I think we've all had... Because you had a nice little break. I did, yeah. I had a yeah. pretty good break. You, I, I didn't have a break at Christmas, I had a break after. Yeah. You just had your Christmas break after Christmas. Yeah. You yeah. a little bit later. Well, we were all with our with our significant others and family. Mm. If, yeah. If, if family was, an, was there. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean... Understandable that it's it's hard to it's hard to mesh after during Christmas and exactly, Christmas yeah. time. You know? <coughs> well, true. I mean, it's hard enough to line up our schedules anyway. Well, that's me, me and you work together, yeah. <laughs> so I'm afraid one thing I'm gonna be doing this all night. Very audible. Is it? Oh man, that's all gonna like you know hands to the sides, just stiff. Drink, it, drink your strong one. Drink more. <laughs> get a, get a straw. <laughs> 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 Like a little thing you put harmonicas on while it's going strong. Or those, those <laughs> hats with the, yeah, the, the two hands <laughs> on the side. Like, yeah. I'd love that. <laughs> I'd love one of those. Ready yeah. to go. Yeah, so we're back for number 21. I'm Mark Langell. I'm Tony. Matt Flowers. I'm Whoa. Sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I just forgot that we had names and we should probably say them. Yeah, we um, should say them. Yeah. You know that Jerry, sorry to be random, Jerry is having his... Bar, uh, I'm some barbecue. What? His bar mitzvah. His, <laughs> his um, bachelor party soon. Oh, wow. You going? I don't know. J- January 21st. Cool. I'm working. Uh-huh. Am I invited? No, but if you, I'm sure if you went, no one would mind. Well. We're going to his shed and then. Okay, okay. I will go, but who's Jerry? <laughs> he's a friend of ours. <laughs> and uh, he's getting married to a missus, clearly. And, uh, well, you know, he could get married to a mister. Hey, right. the 2016, you know, do it. 2017 nothing, now. Not there's anything wrong with that. This is for oh, the wait. entire world. You didn't yeah, say any specific names. There's a lot of, it could be Jerry Seinfeld you talked yep. about. Yeah. It could be. You could be marrying um, Elaine. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, but What's yeah. the deal with getting married in 2017? <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. That scared the sh- Quack. Out of me. <laughs> 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 What's it? I see you kind of sly in that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you looking at? For two reasons. One, it was loud. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll take it off. And two, I thought it was that one for a second. I was about to punch something. <laughs> when, <laughs> when you called, I got so, like, I clenched so deep. <laughs> I was like, just what? No! But well, then it was just, like an odd number. I was like, I thought it was a mechanic at first. I always do that because, like, I look at the number first. And if I see Quack. See, I swear. Yeah. There's another one I'm like, what's well, the mechanic? They want something. Well, I just swear anyway because I know it's always going to be that company. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, for yeah. some reason, I thought of like when, if we had to like record you and then like, you get a call, it would be like when Dr. Evil was on Jerry, Son- Jerry Springer. <laughs> you know, just, it's just browser. Oh, you get a piece of shit. And just all the beeps going <laughs> in. <laughs> Especially when you got something to do. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's like you're just getting ready to do something and it's like the telephone rings and you're like yeah. of all times you could be sitting down for the entire evening not doing anything just yeah exactly get ready okay I'm actually going to go to bed and you're in bed and you're like yeah the P.O.'s been made for three hours now <laughs> why didn't you call me why are they from Wisconsin <laughs> I don't know he was not me for three hours and you <laughs> <laughs> okay dad Dang. But anyway, yeah, so uh, we're in 2017. This is episode 21. Awesome. One. Mark and I oh. are drinking. Uh, I'm also having a beverage. Yeah. But it is a, a caffeinated, caffeinated beverage. Yes. But Technically, this is caffeinated. Less. It's just Strongbow. We're all doing drugs right now. Yep. You should see me earlier. I'm drinking an apple cider. It's Grower's Granny Smith apple. Wow. You wouldn't. Because I like me some Granny Smith. Look at that, Granny Smith. Mm-hmm. You know what's a, uh, that's <laughs> one of the first <laughs> GMOs? <laughs> Granny Smith apples? Are they a GMO? Yeah, it's one of the very first ever GMA, created. Granny Smith apple? Yeah. <laughs> GMA is Granny, a GMO. Mi- Granny, Granny Myth apple. <laughs> Granny Myth. 
<laughs> no, but there's <laughs> it's actually like a created crop. Is it? Yeah. Seriously? Because they like selected two different apples and they rubbed them together. Rubbed them together. For and then when, when two apples love each other very much, <laughs> you know. <laughs> And that's been going around for hundreds of years, technically. Not like selective breeding or something. Yeah, not Do that with your Wisconsin accent. We two apples. God, I'm, each not, other I'm not doing that. Two, yeah. I'm not doing that again. Well, give me a few beers. Okay. Do you know the no. reason that carrots are orange? Yep. Because the original ones are purple, and orange ones are a, a reason. <laughs> you know what the reason is? I don't remember. Because they're strong and beta carotene. But the uh, country that... Uh, Holland. Some country whose color is orange... I think it's either Holland or Sweden. Is one they of those changed carrots? This was like hundreds and hundreds of years ago. Yeah, they crossbred different kinds of carrots until it became orange. And they're like, no, it's no carrots. Really? Yep. It came it's across cool. to the new world like that. Yeah. And it's, they've been like that ever since. And they've been like that ever there's, since. There's purple carrots. There's, um, I mean, parsnip is technically a carrot. It's a white. <laughs> it's like a white. I, I told somebody about uh, broccoli flour once. <laughs> You know, you sounds know what like I'm talking like a, about, right? It sounds like, a, like a Jason okay. Brockerville. In no, no, no. Uh, this is actually, take a picture of cauliflower mm-hmm. with your camera and then adjust in Photoshop. Why are you reloading your camera? Well, it, all, everybody's, everybody's <laughs> cell phone makes that sound yeah. when they take a picture, whether you like it or not. Which is pretty antiquated as you would want it to be. Exactly, right? It's the sound There's of the no actual shutter. shutter on this camera. It's That's just right. Sort of, it's just a digital CC. Yeah. But it still makes that sound. Mm-hmm. So it sounds anyway, like, it sound like this? Take that sound and there take that picture of a piece of cauliflower at the store, at the Coop or the IGA, or whatever you want. You select and then, your local grocery. And then you go Coaster. into your levels or your color slider in Photoshop, Cute. CS5 if you got it, or, you know, and change it to a color of green that represent, that looks <laughs> like a... Granny Smith apple, and that's yeah. broccoli flower. They crossbred broccoli and cauliflower and okay. made it this green color. It seriously looks like that color of green, like a that must Granny be weird. Smith apple. There's so much it's, weird. It's weird looking. It would, there. it would be like unappetizing to me if it was green. No. Like, well, to me, it would. to me it would. Really? Yeah. Would you expect it to be? I, well, because I'm so used to seeing them as they are. So if I seen like a green cauliflower, I'd be like, eh. I just think it's broccoli that's like not quite right. It's it's funny looking broccoli. Yeah. But it's cauliflower. It's quite tight. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's cauliflower, but it's, but it's brock. It's green like, but it's a light green. <laughs> it's sort of, it's sort of weird. But I told somebody about that, and I said, broccoli flower, and they were like, what? I said, okay. Brock of it's flower. Not, it's, it's not actually cauliflower. It's cauliflower bro- broccoli, and I, I actually had to prove this, that it actually exists. And What's the deal with broccoli flower? <laughs> broccoli flower. Is it broccoli or is it bro- cauliflower? <laughs> and that's like uh, grapples. Have you heard of grapples? <laughs> Isn't that a thing in the coast they throw out of the boat? You know? <laughs> <laughs> the grappling of the coast, yeah. Large walls for ninjas. <laughs> no, it's apples and grapes that are... It it's, sounds appetizing but strange. It, it how is, big are they? They're regular size apples, but when you cut them and the eat grape. them, they taste like grapes. That would, wow. that would, it's crazy. It would hurt your brain. Mm. It's, it's really <coughs> delicious. Blood oranges and all those weird They are like, good. I like blood oranges. Yeah. Of yeah. all the things, though, I just said grapple, and you were like, hmm, that would be good. No, you said blood oranges. Because they ta- oranges. I, know, I know that they taste good. Oh, okay. So I've had them. There's a certain slick group of fruits that is just super manly sounding. I'm sure that they are. Blood orange and dragon fruit. (laughs) (laughs) Star fruit. It sounds like, you know. Star fruit sounds pretty awesome. Yeah. Sounds like a Kirby. Have you ever eaten a star fruit? Yeah. I don't remember the taste of star fruit. What? What was his name? (laughs) Uh I'm not going to get too personal. I'm getting on this podcast. Can I have another Strongbow Super Play? Yes, you can. Come here, say. The good thing about recording in Matt's kitchen is. The fridge right there? The fridge is right here and nobody has to leave. You know what's also good? That's some high fidelity fart right there. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? was that? That was the carrots. Please tell me that. <laughs> why, did it, why did you laugh at the third one? Because <laughs> it was like a perfect little, like, ding. <laughs> oh. that's, that's the... Ah, <laughs> just drink it in. You're going to have to... You're gonna have to cut that out. Oh my god, they can do that. That's a swear noise. The quack noise. I use I use Lissy. 
for, for one of the episodes. Did you? That's what that was. I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> what was she saying? She said quack. Quack. Oh. Yeah, so I, she, she gave me like a bunch. Then she did one. She was like, quack, quack, quack. And I was like, that's a little too long. Yeah. So quack, I used like the quack, end quack. quack of that part. Well, we noticed something, my wife and I, because somehow we got to see, was it, you sent us a video of, quack, of Lissy with the... Uh, oh, with the, the friggin' thing, thing uh, speak mouth. out? And, and oh, no, it was when your mother was working. She showed me, a, she had a video. <laughs> and we made, even even when she has that that apparatus that keeps your mouth open in her mouth, she still thing. has the English accent. Well, yeah. I know, but it was... The English so accent like, doesn't come from your lips. Uh, well, I know that, but <laughs> it was almost like, you know, it was funny to me, I guess. Why? How are you calling your wife? She's not even there yet. No, no, I'm texting mother. So I've been playing a little bit of Resident Evil Four, which okay. I got for you gotta listen to this. Okay, go on. What? I, like it. I don't know how much I like it. I'm having a hard time getting through that little town where the, the guys say the very oh, beginning. Wrong. At the very beginning, it's like a little town you come it up is to. Pretty freaking you haven't even to the title screen yet. I got past the title screen. I let the, oh, okay. the dog out of the trap and. <laughs> No, no, because at the one point you clear the town out. And you get the... And then when, man. Yeah. Do I have to take out everybody? No, no, no. Because you, you kill... Because the, I go around you kill the back side you just need to sur- you need the, or chicken you or something. To, <laughs> you need to survive long enough. Because at some point, the bells ring and everybody leaves. Yeah, everyone goes, oh, Lord Sadler. And then you they just drop like, their weapons. You like run away, like get up into a roof okay. or something and like kind of just okay. fend off for so long. So Here's <laughs> a question I have for, for Capcom, for that game. Why, if I put a bullet into somebody's head they keep coming at me with a pitchfork because they're video games because video, video games but you can roundhouse the out of them and explode you sort of, in pieces yeah you, you can kick their leg you shoot their leg and you uh, go uh, and you come out and go Hoo-ah! and like this huge like super Chuck Norris like roundhouse kick and everyone flies away so that's a little st- tr- strategy okay I so I can shoot their legs and they, and they, when they kind explode of, when they kind of go down a bit you come up and then you press a button and you do Wah! and you flick around yeah. and you kick them and everyone flies away because mm-hmm. where's like, like, if got there's that like old... three people coming at me one with a hatchet shoot one with the knees with the judo and then he like oh I used to I used to know all the things what they meant in Spanish and everything I played that game so much it's, a, it's always like yeah there's, right there, there's, there's this guy he's throwing hay into a bale and he's just making Pitchfork. this I wish I could remember the sounds that they were making because it was so yeah, funny nah. to me yeah 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 Danya. I thought it was judo, and they're like, you're like, oh, because yeah, you know, when I go you, around it, there's a spot where, as soon as you get done with the binoculars, you come out and you just you see the cops and like floor. on the little fire, and and there's this dude in a in a leather jacket and a baseball cap burning up, and you're <laughs> laughing at the cards. I take it. Yeah, there's one that's this is a similar yeah. Story. I, don't, I, I don't know how. F- I'll send you a link to a video called uh, Two Best Friends Play. Resident Evil 4, if so do you. Yeah. I, th- I think if somebody was sitting down... Well, we can go play it later. Play it. I got it. I bought it. I think, I think that would be mm. more it gets, fun. It gets right so... Now, like the game so just sort of really fun. It gets so silly later. And even yeah. like going back to those old dated controls, I don't mind. Oh, God, I couldn't... It seems I couldn't. really slaggy. Like, really <laughs> slow. Like... You know what slaggy means in England? No. Slutty. Slag on. <laughs> well, it could be slutty, too. But... but yeah, it, it's because it, 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 it confused me. It was like what I want to see behind me to see who's coming. You have to press like to move back and X. Forward, yeah, forward, back and X. Square, whatever you're playing. Oh, I think it's back and X. You just turn yeah. around real quick. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I played like half the game the first time I played. It, I played like halfway through it without even realizing there was a run button. A <laughs> so you just you just kind of just Come casually on. going through the woods. Yeah, you're just like. Uh, it's X. I'm getting away. It's, it's I'm one of the, getting this away. This is a slow no. game. This is, I'm holding this, my hand this, up. It's like a slow I'm burn. To the, yeah. the, 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 this and then you're like, okay, I, I, think I played it on PS2. That's the what version I still have. And I'm pretty sure like Square Square was like the big action button. Square. And you're going to have to mash it later. Triangle, circle, I'm going to have to check it out. I'm gonna have yeah. Yeah. Check well, I'll show you later. We'll go play it. Yeah, but it'll be different on mine because i got a next same, It's the same thing. But there is It's a controller in your hand. And the run button is also the one you... When you tap it and you push backwards, Back. you do the backwards. you do the little the, little one eighty. Yeah, but the oh, thing okay. is, in nighttime, don't go for their heads because this big 
friggin' like centipede comes out. Yeah, but, but the problem is, I'm, all, I'm up against humans, and and I can put three bullets into their head till because they die. there's like a parasite in them making them like super people. Now you're and you shoot them. They sound like a video game uh, executive <laughs> right there. Well, no, the thing is, <laughs> I'm kidding. No, no, but you're gonna I'm find kidding. out eventually. That I there's, know. There's, well, Leon Candy is pretty much like a bullet sponge himself too. You said John Candy. Leon Kennedy. Oh, <laughs> John Candy's pretty much. <laughs> Yep. Uncle Buck is there. Yeah. The great I'm, doors. I'm my own best friend. <laughs> I'm my, yeah, Leo, like, I'm my own uncle. Like, like big old like death, like uh. You can like it's like one of those size just come flying out. Yeah, like this those reaper like little hand into your chest. And, you just, you go, and then you know <laughs> you eat a plant mixed with another plant and you're fine. Yeah, yeah. because no, no. Do you eat it or should you smoke it? Because it's like a green herb, yeah. and then you can mix them in the two, and it's, it's, like, it's you, in like you this. You use it, I use yeah. it, but it's funny because I, it's then in like a piece of paper it. like this is a white you piece of paper. You can also steal the eggs from chickens and, and eat, eat the, the eggs. eggs, and eventually they do hatch into like really. Yeah. I've always eaten. I did get yeah. an egg, but I don't know what it did. You can eat it for health. Oh. Oh. I, also, I think when you I said pick it up, but it when you said, get Do you to like want to pick this up, and I said yes, and then just went. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't game. know if that's the sound it made, but... That's <laughs> you can remix that into a techno song. Oh, man. <laughs> but I don't remember if... I think I think my... But I'm just getting a little frustrated with the game. Maybe, maybe it's because it's, I'm It's not, a steep learning curve. But okay, it's well... Once, it yeah, once you... Once you so master I just need to push, pushing through, is what you're saying. Once you yeah. master your joystick. Okay. Master my joystick. <laughs> <laughs> it keeps curving to the left. I mean, but, but yeah, like once once it's you right once you yeah. uh, oh god, once you sort of get a grasp of the controls and sort of understand the mechanics a little bit, it'll be it'll be easier. It won't be an easy game. It's not. I, I, I easy just game. find I and still too, the, have the never aiming of the la the laser sight it jumps. No, because no, I'm still only touching the analog what are you stick playing on? on my Xbox One. Okay, I think. Uh, what was it? I was watching a Laser Time stream not that long ago. They went back and they played through like the first bit of that game, and he had the guy playing it had the same problem where they kept like jumping around and being. It mine, does. It, mine's it really almost, slow. And this was a guy who used it's to work slow, at Capcom, worked on Resident Evil Six, and like uh, some of the other handheld like and ports of the game, and like was a super big fan. Played through the game multiple times in every other iteration, and on this new version, yeah, he was having issues with like the. With the aiming. Yeah. The aiming seems it's like, like it, it's either really slow, or like that. and then you push over her, and it just jumps really yeah. far. Yeah, so that's not 100% and normal. It's like it's something on the new one. I mean, it's, it's the best you can do with you know, the console. If you if that's a hack that I can fix in... They might patch it out at some point. I'm surprised they haven't. Yeah, but the, but the game's been re I guess released been. for Xbox One for... It yeah. was for Bargain Bin, basically. That's yeah. why I got it, yeah. yeah. In like the little stand of like old yeah. PS4 games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Put it at the I bottom. Just, I, basically, I took a picture of all kinds of different games, and I said, sent it to my wife, and I said, get me one of these for Christmas. I don't care which one, just get me one. And that was... So, but I've always wanted to play Resident Evil 4 because mm -hmm. I've heard so much good stuff about it. And right. it always seemed like, because of the over-the-shoulder, it would have been much more almost Gears of War-like. No, there's no cover. With, with this the, was the first game no, that really no, did No, but that. I mean, where, where you had over-the-shoulder, you have a laser sight, mm -hmm. bam, 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 bam. you're not, and it wasn't, it wasn't that... What? Resident Evil Major. One, push it up to go forward, and then having to push left and right to turn can, your character. You find, push it up as you turn, because you don't turn, you pivot, but you pivot like as you're walking forward. You're like, yeah, you still kind of have tankish kind of control. It's still yes. tankish, yes, yeah. and 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 that's what's really throwing you can't, me off. You can't aim like and that? move at the same time. No, I think five they change. You can like walk and no, it's still like six that. is six. Okay, five I remember more vividly. Five is in as, Africa. Yes, yeah. but it was. With, it that seemed game like almost was intense. It's very intense, but it seemed more actiony and less more actiony than more than yeah. number four. Because the Las Plagas, which is the parasite in the Spaniards in Resident Evil mm. Four, is in the little Africanis mm. in Resident Evil Five. But the control scheme did it was it different? It's the same. Not in five. So five was pretty much the same updated yeah. graphics. Really? Now why do I remember? Because I did play a <laughs> demo for five. Five is the one with the Chris. Uh, uh, Chris Redfield. Redfield with these the biggest biceps known to man. Oh, and yeah. there's a one point because of the the big bad guy of the game is um, 
Oh, what's his name? Wesker. Wesker. And uh, he he sort of takes the virus and makes him superhuman, of course, because, you know, video games. Yeah, and, um, of course. There's one point he's, like, half big centipede with his flicky arm and, like, a big muscly arm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're in a volcano in a crashed plane fighting him because video games. I saw like, show. yeah, and, a mansion. Sure. And there's, like, you got to cut between the two characters. Like, you go and do something as the missus, as Sheva, mm-hmm. and you do something. And then it cuts to Leon. you got to do something else. Yeah. Like, a little steps of step. And then, like, there's this big boulder that kind of crashes in your way, and you're like, smash X! And Leon, or Chris, just just punching the boulder. He's like, Punching a boulder. And he's just punching the shit out of it. And it's just the most ridiculous thing ever. And, like, meanwhile, like, Wesker's flicky arm is coming at you, and he's, like, throwing something at you, and you're going (laughs) to punch a boulder. And I was like, oh, dude. Okay, so it's almost... It's silly. Maybe, maybe, maybe having the way over the top. Yeah. Of like, but it's amazing. Like that game is. Oh. Four like sets a mood and right off the bat with a good atmosphere and like. It four I say was probably. I love the beginning bit where you're just walking around this like. And you don't know what's going on. Yeah, the middle of nowhere. There's like it's obviously fall or autumn because everything's brown and dead. Everything's you're just walking around yeah. and you're in this house and this man is just picking at this fire. And, Hello, just, sir. You say. Have you, seen, have you seen this girl? <laughs> All right then, because you know he's Leon Kennedy. Yeah. And, and, and I'm finding, I'm finding the the, the, the voice acting. It gets Sorry. it gets so much better because he has these little one <laughs> he has these it's, little one liners. I'm, I'm, <laughs> Your small <it's>, time. <laughs> it's really not that good. I used to have a, like I think a, it, well at the time that it came out, it was like mind blowing that like a game could have so much. The game is long. It's it really long. really long. Like. After the castle bit, I was like, okay, this has got to be wrapping up. This guy, yeah, it's going to be in the third go, act now. i got to go to an island. And yeah. there's a now you got to go to mine. Are you talking about number four? Yeah, four. About it's four. really, really long. Okay. After this like rural town area, you go to... Like a castle. Yeah, this whole medieval castle, which is, I think, my favorite part. I think it's like the mines, and then like the, okay uh, the prison island is... Hey, so i got a lot of games. Yeah. And there's one point where they'll scare the shit out of you. Regulators. Think of regenerators. Regenerate regulators. <laughs> <laughs> so because there's these things that are like these weird, I don't know what they are, not people, but they're like creatures and they have like spikes all over their bodies. Yeah. And they look like just twitching constantly. And to get there, you have to just you have to shoot the last plagas in their body. Yeah. You shoot up and out and it's like, bleh, but you and can't come back. see them unless you have a certain weapon. You have like a rifle with a thermal scope. Yeah. Oh that's the only way. And okay. you have to, you find have to be it. in first person. To see, I mean, to see the, but the thing is, you're running around in like this prison, and it's like a hospital. And, and then the Star Trek doors just open, and one's right there. And one's right there, and he's like, hey, and you're like, oh, and then you'll throw your controller. Like and I then did. you gotta like double back and <laughs> run back and try and get it. You know, get him in a yeah. bit of range and They're, look for it. And between that and the those maniac berserker dudes in like the. that are like completely can't see anything go by sound. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the most terrifying. You gotta things. shoot a bell. And they're like, ooh, they're looking around. You gotta make them run into a wall. Wolverine claws, and they're coming at you. Mm. Terrifying. They're the old berserk. Because you're in the you're in the castle. So you have you okay? You've played it. I've gotten right to the end. I've never actually beaten that final boss. When when he goes all funny and never Lord Sadler. No, I beat that one. There's a second. There's another. Who's the little Napoleon man? I don't know. It's like this like military guy that like I'm the last thing I ever. No. Oh, the guy with the knife. You're, yeah, you're on top of the like this cliff somewhere, and this army dude's like, yeah, and you like throw a grenade. Hunk is his yeah. name. Yeah, he's like, I think he's. How do you remember their names? Like, I'm very, I'm very good with names. I remember okay. Leon and Ashley. Leon. Yeah. <laughs> this one point, you got to hear it. You got to escort Ashley and throw like oh, this. Oh, um, not an escort. But it's not that bad. There's only like one or she two. She can hide in a dumpster, and you're like, stay in there, <laughs> and then then there's like <laughs> a woman, and, and then, then there's like a, a woman. With a babushka and a chainsaw, and she busts out of a wall. I remember that in front of me. Oh, you know, like the little, it's like the little thing to hold the little you know, gypsy hair in. Oh, okay. You know, like uh, <laughs> I, I thought a it was something a lot worse yeah. than that. So. A babushka, like okay. it's like an old lady hair containment system. Old lady. Let's hear the title of this episode. Babushka, old lady hair containment system. Babushka. 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 And he's singing, dancing around, Are and you throwing sure the that's what that is? Yes, it is. Because, one of those. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. And there's like this, this this peasant woman with like a like really shitty looking dress Me and a babushka, a babushka <laughs> on. But a babushka, no, it's a babushka all over her face. Yeah. And then she has a chainsaw and it's terrifying. Because you have to kill her to get the key to open the thingy and make Asha hide in a dumpster and she has big tits. I mean, I, can't, I, mean, I can't <laughs> take the. No, because I can't if, if they. Babushka? Because I. No, I wouldn't. No, awesome. no. You think there's some pretty good like costumes when you actually do beat the game? Like, yeah, I've, never, like I've a, never beaten it, but I've seen the like. Dick Tracy suit? Yeah, like. The unlockables after like that kind of stuff is pretty cool. You walk yeah. around the entire game in suit of armor if you choose. No, well, Ashley gets a suit of armor. Doesn't well, she? someone gets the suit of armor. And you can play as Ashley the entire game. Like you can, there's like <sighs> different skin swaps. And, it's just and you got to play as Ashley because you guys are separated. But she can't. She doesn't have any weapons. Is she as useless as? She? Yeah. Yeah. She's just the runaway. She just escapes. Like I, I believe it or not, like I've, my history with Resident Evils go back quite from Resident Evil One. But I'm going to be honest, I never really played them because back when Resident Evil 1 first came out on PlayStation 1, mm-hmm. I lived in this place with, I think it was three other gentlemen. And <laughs> I, <laughs> now, 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 don't let your mind wander. Who, there's Monocle, like, who is yeah, this ghastly we're, we're man? All, no, what we would do is, because he had a really <laughs> uh, satellite system, because okay. he set up a satellite on the roof, but it was right in front of a tree. No. <laughs> oh, just poor. So as soon as the wind blow, he didn't guy. get no television. Mm. So, so we set, we would, in the middle of winter, we would set up the PlayStation and that's how we played through Tomb Raider. Hmm. Never played a Tomb Raider in my life. Oh, the Tomb Raider no, one. We would we would basically triangle things. You you played till you died. When you died, you give it to someone else. You know, I know she has these controls, and she'd be like oh, yeah. jumping around. Well, it was boom, automatic. Boom. It was automatic. Oh, so as long as you were basically pointing towards what you were. Yeah, that was before the days of ant. There, there wasn't yeah. designed with analog controls. And, and it was and it was basically the tank like controls. You push yeah. left or right. And forward, it goes forward. moves forward no matter where you are in the screen. Yeah, you forward. push up and you go forward. You need to make a full turn before yeah. you can. And then she like turn like really stiffly. Yes, like, it was like. And if you ran, <laughs> there is a run button to get her to run because there was points you had to run. A lot of leaping and jumping. And a lot of leaping and jumping. Isn't like a leap of faith where you kind of have to jump at the camera yeah. and just hope like there's a the, ledge? Yeah, old, time, old school platformers. Which are like, yeah, yeah. Yachty. But, but I mean, that was the thing. It was a game that, that there was like <clears> three or four of us that would sit down and play on a Saturday afternoon if we had nothing to do. Mm. And we'd set up the PlayStation and sit down on... And, and our, I mean, at this time, this guy had a 60-inch TV. The it was a box CRT. Was. It was just sitting around it. Mm. No, no, it was one a 60-inch flat. CRT. This was oh. huge. It was, a, it was like you one know, of the ones old, that came to the angle and it was each boxy. Well, no, it wasn't. It, it was actually 60 quite centimeters. big. <laughs> 60 centimeters is not very big. Yeah. Oh. But, but it was a it was a big TV for its time, and yeah. we all we would just we you know, we couldn't watch TV, mm. so we we hooked up the PlayStation and we would play. Did we still play Resident Evil the first time? Was and that's too? that's where I saw. Well, I didn't really play Resident Evil because I don't know. It was, it was just, wacky. But I watched it. Like, that's my experience because I've never played one. The only game I played was Resident Evil Four. Mm-hmm. It was a couple of years ago. I went back and played it. My only experience before that was over the shoulder, just watching someone else play. Me and Leanne. Well, that no, oh, yeah, oh. that too. Before that too was just watching someone else play Resident Evil Two on the N sixty four of all. Oh system. God! So when the no, audio, no did, voiceover. The audio didn't transfer very well. It was all like, yeah, yeah. zombies. Because <laughs> that's a, the S's and like the, 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 like it was just yeah. Oh. The entire town was infested with zombies. <laughs> like, Jesus. Because you know, in the there beginning... Was a back, like, there's a fuzz in between certain littles. Little, mm-hmm. Littles. And, like, Letters. there was the point... It didn't, it didn't compress very good. It, there's a big difference between the Red Book audio of a PlayStation disc... Yeah. ...and a sound chip of a N64 pack. Exactly. There's, yeah. That was a pretty powerful thing they were able to do, but at the same time could not equal a CD. No. No, for sure. Do you think you can take a PlayStation disc and put it into a CD player and just listen to the soundtrack? Yep. Yes, because... what well, Actually, Bush no. It was, uh, the soundtrack for Symphony in a Night mm-hmm. had... I think we should oh, take our hands off the table. Sorry. Is it you the, the picking that up? Did you hear those? They're like little bangs, taps. Little taps. Okay. Yeah, the soundtrack oh, for yeah. Symphony in a Night, if mm-hmm. you put it into a CD player, because I own Symphony in a yeah. Night, 
Is that the and one where it says something about man is a miserable pile of lies yeah. or something? What I, what he I, says, I don't know, Nerd, list, this is a PlayStation black disc. But <laughs> in the game? Well, well when you put you the disc into a CD player and just press play, oh. he, uh, it would come up as Alucard's voice and he would say, this is a PlayStation black disc. This is meant to be played on a PlayStation. But you're not going to listen, are you? <laughs> and, and then you could... Skip through the tracks Play, and yeah. listen to the music. So, so, the, the, yeah, any PlayStation game you get, you can put it into a regular stereo and yeah, just listen to the audio. And at some point, they did figure out that like people are doing that, so they put like little oh, I've yeah, seen that. See, now, I never checked because yeah. my first when I got my PlayStation, the first game I got was Final Fantasy VII. So audio for that was horrible, by the way. Yeah, I don't know if they're remaking it. I know because the fans, it, for some reason, I want it. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I want it. The people who remember Final Fantasy VII think about it better than what it actually oh, yeah. was. That's it's yeah the rose color rose colored glasses yeah. of nostalgia. Just people I, remembering and because the internet was like that's the best I game ever, best see one ever. <laughs> nine remake. There's gonna be people who have never. Yeah, nine was my favorite. There's gonna be people who have never Inside played game? any Final I Fantasy game. I would rather see that. And they go back to play this remake. And they're going to be, like, so underwhelmed. They're like, mm, yeah. It's not good. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, if you go back and look at the f- visuals for most of Watch the that. time, that... Final Fantasy Awesome. Ego Raptor. Oh, this is Ego Raptor. Yes. You seen Ego that before? Rapper. Awesome. Ego Raptor. Yeah. yeah. You can put it to the mic and we can share it with the, everybody. Let's go. Well, right now, yeah. This must have been early Ego Raptor because it's it is as looking. well drawn as he... Yeah. Did anybody ever play that the video game with uh, uh, Vincent? Oh, Vincent. Hey oh, um, Crisis Core. Vincent? Vincent Van Gogh. Crisis Core. Crisis Core. This this Crisis Core. This Crisis Core was it? Did you ever play, play it? No. Awesome. Free plug. I, I that. forgot. I forgot why I gave you that. <laughs> <laughs> Just ducked over. It's it would have like, been funny if I watched it. <laughs> metal, the Metal Gear. Because it was like... Metal Gear. I, think it's just, I, I love Ego Raptor stuff. He's such, a, he's such a... I think he's such a... Cock baby his, nail. Yeah, well, his, like, vlog... Life is hot. Game drums is good. I like watching I love John Tron. I love him so much. He's so he's, fucking funny. Have you watched any of his, like, uh, later... Like, his last uh, Christmas review was... I, awesome. I don't watch he, it, like, very like regularly, but... Well, I subscribe to things on YouTube, and I get notifications every time there's new things. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you I don't. I, I, you keep saying that, but I keep forgetting how to like adjust it, and I just don't think of it. You just subscribe to it. Yeah, I'm subscribed to a lot of stuff. Well, I think now you have to go to their ooh, uh, to the, <laughs> their page and like click the little bell by the name. Yeah. And get a little notification. I've done that a lot, like before, and it's like connected on all my things, like my cell phone and my tablet. Do they all which, I'm u- which I'm usually on. Well, ding! If I hear one in the other room, it'll go. It'll, like, Bling. Go, 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 go. I'm using that all <laughs> You got so many different As items that are that have everything is looped, looped linked to my uh, <laughs> Gmail account. So everything, as soon as you get a, a thing, so and so released a new video here. Yeah. Here's the new it's, video. I got Joe's. Every uh, time I, him. yeah, I, every time I see his thing, it pops up, and every time, like I'll be there and I'll upload. So yeah, I'll put up a uh, VGM Monday like this. How I do it, hmm. and then on my <laughs> other thing, it'll just. Boop, boop, just ding and be like, this so and so just upload this. Like, yeah, no, I just did it. <laughs> I know for that me. was me. I know how it works. I um, I told you, me and Lissy did a video for uh, like a, this girl that just like I don't know, she she's four. I see like, it. You know how I know because it popped up in my notification. Bed, it was like, bedtime I have stories. Flowers in the cage banana. Hopefully, there's a new video. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a, it's Nick Cage we banana. Need, we need to get some. We need to get some. Uh, we need to get some white lights Ooh. for. For video recording. Yeah, because otherwise you get the dark, just uh, yellowy, normal. Haze. Like when I recorded yeah. the video of the Harry Potter books, yeah. it looked like. Shit. Yeah. You just even we if you just like take that shade off of there. That's why I did the we light. did the book thing. We did it in here. Yeah. Because yeah. we were freaking out with the lighting in the kit and leaving for like half an hour. You almost need to get like just a couple of lamps that like they're adjustable. And just There's point, one right there. Right? Your, yeah, point yep. at your freaking face and use that. Yeah. Or use like the weird umbrella light. It was like an umbrella. You, can, you could buy like you can buy the circular lights, and a lot of people will. It's like you can see it's, it's the, 
around the the lens. You of can their see camera, it in their eyes, and you can see yeah. it. In, yeah. But it's really cool. I love I love that effect. Mm -hmm. I think it's really neat. Someone I uh, I watch a lot on YouTube has it. Mm -hmm. Is this transgender woman? She's hot as hell, but it just it confuses me now and then. But she um. The you know what to do. Oh, oh, oh. It's no, oh, yeah. Yeah, but okay. um, is it any more weird if you get a boner looking at like a Balma from Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> really? Well, they really sexualize Balma. What's weirder? Well, one's alive. I know one has a penis. I get really turned on when Goku has one of his transformations. God. <laughs> <laughs> when he goes to level the, nine. The Japanese oh, dubs. Man. Well, originally it was eight thousand. Who told me that? I think it might have been. Well, it's 9,000. It's over 8,000. Someone. Was, yeah. Who told yeah. me? I, I think it was me. Because I think I seen oh, yeah. it on a, like a, a Twitter thing. Why not 9,000? It's arbitrary. Why not 10,000? It's just Why a number. They say he went to level 8,000. So it's Yeah, because like, it was eight, apparently 8,000 was like the original cap. Japanese, like whatever. And then they translated the English. And like, I don't know. 9,000. 9,000? I don't know what happened. They were like, 9,000 sounds better. Well, but I don't know what happened. It does. It's like you're gonna give a number. Oh my god, he went to level nine thousand. What? It's, it's, it's like it's what such a it's such a. No way that can be true. Where where did the number come from? Like, I mean, it sounds you, better. It sounds better. Than yeah, 8, but it sounds better. But you have if you have no base of reference. Zero. It's like <laughs> my car goes from one to sixty in five point five seconds. You know what that means because well, it all how started. fast does your car go from zero <laughs> to sixty <laughs> miles per hour? It right? all started. And you have a bit. You actually have a real base of reference. In the Sorry. when Dragon Ball because Dragon Ball Z is the spinoff sequel series. Of Dragon Ball. Yeah, in the very first episode, you get. Raditz comes down. He got a skeleton. He's looking. Right oh, he looks at some guy with a gun. And like there's like a whole a plot thing. Yeah, with like. For so, uh, the creator Akira Toriyama was like really disappointed in, I'm disappointed in myself he was really k kicking himself in the ass he's like I should have well, never gave anything power levels because now it's like a big dick measuring contest every it, time fans are like what are you doing with the, with the power level with here how come you can punch him when he's supposed to be way stronger and, and uh, like just because uh, uh, he, he had like a scouter and at first like he wanted to just show how because then there's a point he looks at Gohan and he's like he's only five he's a baby and then he like what his power level is increasing? It's it's crazy. unbelievable. And he headbutts him and he goes, yeah. Ugh. and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. And then by the time Great, the show up, and then Goku comes back from his training, and he's like, what nine thousand? Because because like, oh, exponentially yeah. bigger than like all these like yes. Because these so things. far, like yeah. even the fucking Cybermen were kicking like everyone's that's, asses. Because so they got the to thing. a point too unless that you, unless you have a way to base yeah. this in how do we get talking about this? Life? I don't know because. Because Dragon Ball is good to make fun of. That's true. I love Dragon Ball Z. I hate Dragon Ball Z. Really? Oh, I hate it. I hate I GT. It's so stupid. GT is stupid. GT is bad. But there's it's things silly. that I love that you guys think yeah. is so stupid. So. That's why, like later in the, on the show, you like when someone really badass shows up, the skaters just explode off their face. You're like, you can't even read the number. It doesn't exist anymore. His goal, Forget about the number. Vegeta and, takes and it that's off. That's the thing. It should never be because if you do. It's like you're, 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 you're putting a limit. Well, I mean, like, this is what like Marvel did with the, like, back on the trading cards. Like, they gave the people like power stats, basically. Exactly. Yeah. And like yeah. apparently, apparently Professor X can like, kick that <laughs> out of Jubilee because <laughs> well, he's like big ripped. Dude. We all knew that. Yeah, but Jubilee was like sixteen. It's fireworks. Little girl. Out of here. You could just exactly. backhand. How can this like back in the kitchen? How can this bald man in a wheelchair with like? Complete paralysis from the waist down would be like stronger than uh, so and so. Well, well he again, has to use his upper. He has to go piss somehow. <laughs> well, I mean, then again, he has to lift himself out because he's not pissing in his chair. Wasn't Stan Lee was given a, like a question in one of the? I keep doing this with my hand a lot. <laughs> was it, someone asked Stan Lee like, "Who would win in a fight, so and so or so and so?" And he's well, whoever like, the writer wants. Yeah, whoever the artist wants to draw yeah. to win. Yeah, whatever is best for the exactly story. It. It could you could have you could have Pee Wee Herman <laughs> versus the Hulk and Pee Wee the Witch. Yeah, I mean, look at the whip his pants out. Squirrel Girl. That's a she's joke right. though. She's just a joke. Exactly. She's just it a doesn't matter. What's the difference? You could love writer to win. Friggin' exactly. Anna Kendrick Anybody. wants to play Squirrel Girl. That could work. She's hot. Okay. I know. She's really nice looking, <laughs> but she's she. I think she's only writing off the popularity of it, which annoys me. She's not an actual fan of it. What? But then again, you know, whatever. She's kind of cool. 
But she must play Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl. Squirrel Girl. I think I think the Granny Smith apple is going. Granny to Smith is hitting you. Yeah, it's going to my tongue. <laughs> but the thing is, like, how can you measure some of someone like the Hulk? The Hulk can't not be weaker. Like well, he can only get stronger. The Hulk's power is immeasurable because it's only about as mad as he can get. Exactly. So if like, he gets madder, he gets stronger. Is there, is there a Hulk and trading card? Stronger, he gets madder. There is a Hulk trading. They had trading to. Card, yeah. They had to say some silly number that like in later comic went back and actually retconned it, it because would, it would just change because he can't. It would, send it would be to it. definitely his strength would be up to ten. Mm-hmm. He would be super strong, but his intelligence would be zero. Whatever these um that certain Hulk where he was also Bruce Banner in the Hulk. You know? The Great he, Hulk? Yeah, the, the, great, the, the big great, mobster in yeah. Las Vegas. Yeah. The Great Hulk, yeah. No, uh, then, Old Man Logan Hulk. Oh, that one. <laughs> well, he's well, just inbred. And, and I mean, Raised that's, and destroyed that's his brain. A, that's, a, that's a whole thing that you can't say. But how we, can can, you, we, can't, we can't put a number on this. Like, You're better off not trying to put a number. You just know that the Hulk is really strong mm-hmm. and could... Uh, Pete, uh, have Jubilee. But see, and, and that's another thing that I have a problem with watching movies and stuff like that, is... Where does the limit stop? Because I know that I can't lift up a 200-pound item. You I know, can, I, I can't just I go can over to a 100-pound item and yeah. just lift it up and yeah. throw it over my head. You're not the Hulk either. I'm not the Hulk. No. But there's times where so-and-so will get give the Hulk an ass whipping. Mm-hmm. And it'll Spider-Man. be like, yeah, but... Spider-Man knocked him out with a one punch. Who did? Spider-Man. One punch man. Well, but see, yeah, right there, like... If if he's that immeasurably strong, why did one punch not? Commit? Speaking of the Hulk, you know, because the writer wanted like, it to happen. I know. I I'm going to bust out this. That's where numbers or, come in. I'm going to bust out this random trivia question whoa, 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 whoa. because it seems to be. Did that come through on? Whoa, that sounded greasy. Yeah, yeah felt did greasy. Did you eat like greasy soup before? <laughs> 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 Grease soup just. Grease greasy. Warmed up. It was just like oh, two gosh. inches of grease. I don't know what I ate. Powder. What did I eat today? I had beans and wieners and toast for breakfast. Since you're not going that far, I'll just read. Mark, can I have another? Since we were talking about the Hulk. Yes, you can. Thank you very much. What Norse god does the Hulk smash into the ground again and again in Thor. the Avengers? Thor. He also smashes him through a mountain. What? Oh, Loki. Well, he smashes both of them and, and really. Uh, again Zeus. and again? I'm saying Zeus. No, but in, in uh, I'll Thor. I'll read the question again. What Norse god does the Hulk smash into the ground again and again in the Avengers? Oh, Loki. The Avengers Loki. being the movie. Yeah. These questions are really dumb and easy. They seem pretty elementary. Yeah. But the thing is, Same. in the in Thor, in the Hulk it versus. It's because we were talking about Hulk. Yeah. I, but in the comic book, it could have been anybody. Yeah, it probably was like you know. It could have been. It could have been Shasta. The god. <laughs> the god Shasta of McNasty. Fire prevention. I don't know. Wouldn't that be like, you know, Yogi? Not Yogi the Bear. <laughs> Yogi the Bear. Don't touch me in the ground. Hey. <laughs> No, but, but he also did it in the in Thor versus yes, the Hulk Smokey, movie. Smokey, yes, I meant. But the Thor versus the Hulk movie. Thor versus the Smokey. He punched Thor through a mountain. So, like, that could have, that question is, you know, it's, it, it's, 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 it's below like, us. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> whoever... Pushes up glasses. It's yeah. <laughs> yeah, actually. Um, actually. Actually. Yeah. yeah. But, so, yeah, that's what I mean. I see like, you have a nice set. Uh, you know, throw of cards. I didn't know where you were going to go with I that. I picked a couple of uh, ones here that... They're all kind of simple and easy. <laughs> but we're simple and Like easy. my so girlfriends. Okay. Hey. <laughs> 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 what was it like that? Like that like reading rainbows. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Because it's a fun sound to make. <laughs> so if you want, I don't need to keep score of these. Or we can. I don't care. Nah. We'll just, just Let's just have fun. Hey. Fidelity of that uh, opening. Hey. I have no hey. fingernails. Forget about it. Sorry we cut you off, yeah? What, yeah. me? If you want to answer the question... Leave a description in the below. Do it. <laughs> so leave a description. I was gonna say we can see the back of it. What was the answer? I didn't see it. Okay, good. Okay. All right. In the movie Goldfinger, oh. the henchman Ajab attacks James Bond with which item of clothing? Hat. Blue chapeau. We. Or a His random bowler task. Bowler hat, if you want to be specific. Bowler de chapeau. Not a shoe. That's lost the powers. Yeah. <laughs> You fight like a woman. <laughs> Honestly. Well, he, throws, he, he like throws a, shoe, throws a shoe and then like the shoe knocks the head off a statue. Because <laughs> jokes. That first last in Paris is actually pretty good. It's, it's, it's campy. It's campy. I love it though. Me and Lizzie, what, Lizzie loves Austin yeah. Powers. Is it because the like British the fake state? British accent, the fake British yeah. stuff. She loves yeah. it. You know? It's like we, we watched, you know, Litter Kenny or um, 
Bob and Doug McKenzie or yeah. something like that. I mean, they were actually Canadian. Yeah, yeah, but like, I mean, it's the funny people. I mean, Mike Lampoon Myers is technically it. British because his father is Scottish. <laughs> yeah, but, but, but he's from Ontario, so. Yeah. But, yeah. Anyway. In the 2002 superhero film Spider Man, Spider Man. <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> this is a tough one. I don't know if you're going to get it. Or not. Uh, <laughs> what was Peter Parker's profession? Photographer. Uh, well, technically, yeah. actually, oh, no, if you go back into the original Amazing Spider-Man miniseries <laughs> that was released in 1967... I wish we could have an all episode of you doing that. Yeah. <laughs> in the 2002 superhero <laughs> film, Spiderman. 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 A photographer. A photographer for the Daily Bugle. We should have said the superhero. Correct. That's the actual answer. You don't get paid for this. You get Did pay. he? Was he actually? Yeah, because yeah. he was half. Because he was the selling end. the pictures to J. Jonah Jameson. Pictures. It wasn't right at the beginning, though. It was, he was still at school at that. Point. Still in the, the second movie, he was like a pizza delivery. Yeah. Or was that just like a gag or something? Where he was delivering. Was he no, delivering? No, right pizzas? at the beginning, he was. Right. He needed a second job. Yeah, he needed. Yeah. I sent you a link to those like weird t- movie trailers. Did you get it? Yes, I did. I was yeah. laughing so hard it was just because weird movie trailers by. I don't know some guy, but. There was one I was laughing at because it was X-Men Apocalypse. You know, like when there's lightning and then storm, like, yeah. come down. It was like lightning and then it was like, oh. and those, that black Tom McGuire and then all the black is like going. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and, and he likes to throw baguettes into it. Uh, when and Sarlacc camels. comes down. And she cuts a big sandwich. She, cuts, she cuts, the, cuts the baguette into two uh, pieces. And then, oh, okay, it's amazing. You know, like, what's her name is doing like the Phoenix where she's like, ah, but she has her tongue out and she's like, <laughs> and throwing up the devil oh words. god those yeah. are those are those amazing those are too funny what are, um, Justice League is one that's good that's the one I sent you originally weird, that's what because weird trailers yeah well I just put uh, Justice League trailer weird and that's why I found it yeah. no I think I found it just scrolling through trailers but um the Justice League one is like you know in the beginning he's like he comes in the morning and the king tide or whatever I need to find this man and he holds up like an iPad real quick and I'm like Aquaman with like these two ropes like riding two dolphins. (laughs) (laughs) An old old, 50s cartoon. I need to find this man. (laughs) 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 That was awesome. Oh God. I need to look this up after. Yeah, we'll we'll show it to you after. What was that you were speaking of earlier in the episode? I don't, remember enough, I don't remember what I'm talking about. As soon as I say things, they the, leave the, my brain. The, so, next question. Uh, in the classic Christmas movie, Home Alone, what did Buzz keep as a pet? Tarantula. Tarantula. That... Trilantula. He loves it. That friggin' uh, scream was genuine, because whatever her name is, <gasps> is terribly, terribly arachnophobic. Uh, there was... Uh, okay. Dog, Hold dog. On. Daniel Stern. Yeah. Daniel Stern. Uh, I know Dogbert. his brother was the... Uh, he's like a big writer on The Simpsons. Howard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's everybody who goes Howard Stern. Wait, no, 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 Dick. Guy. See, His name was, is David David Stern. See, I was, when I said as soon as I said Howard Stern, I thought of Ron Howard. Ron Howard. And the lead you think of his brother? Uh, what's his face? Oh, well, the guy, the, every man. Yeah, he's on everything. What is his name? He was on Austin Powers. Yeah, he's in everything. Yeah. He was the guy that turns around and he's like, oh, sir. You just, he's that, like, kind of, you, you the, see like, him and he's, he's in everything. Yeah, he's looking at the computer screen with the big phallic objects floating. There's a big... <laughs> a big whaley. <laughs> that that's, looks just like a giant... <laughs> what is his... His last name is Howard, obviously, because he's Ron oh, wow. Howard. He brother. died recently. What? Yeah, he's dead. That's crazy. 2016 took a... No, no, he was uh, dead before... If you wanted to pull up a list of, like, not only just celebrities, but, like... Musicians and just everybody. Well, more than more people. than celebrities died this year, I'm sure. Well, obviously, people, everyone. Obviously, yeah, I know. But mm-hmm. like, not that many prolific people have passed away in one single year. I mean, right off the bat, you had David Bowie, mm-hmm. then you had one of the Eagles, then you had Prince, and, and at the end of the year, you had uh, Princess Leia and her mother. They, uh, in two uh, days. Yeah, exactly. in two she days. Two days. Two days. I mean, that's crazy. Who, there's a Clint oh. Howard. Clint Howard. There you go. Quick with the IMDb there. Why does that name sound familiar? Because he's, he's in everything. He was in everything? I'll show you. If you see his face, face he, and, he just pops up in everything. Let's Ron Howard's brother. Clint, uh, Google Clint Howard to know who we're speaking He was in Star Trek? Jesus. He's in everything. He was just like... Maybe his he, film, he was a Ferengi. His filmography, I bet, is like 18 pages long. It's him with a bear. <laughs> and, there's, and there's guys that have a very lucrative career just, As just doing... He's no, never. I think he's only like starred in so many like actual. Right. <laughs> sorry, sorry, I, 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 just, I just don't want like any, any like the 
to be in the you know recording. He's um he's that guy. You can't oh, be seen very good there, but you'll see you'll see him, you'll know what I mean. He's that guy. He passed away. Mm. That's Ron Howard's brother. Yeah. Damn. Holy crap. He's in everything, you know what he I mean? He was in everything. Yeah. He just pops up in movies all the time. There's a good documentary. I imagine his idea, like you said, IMDb page must crazy. be like... like He's in Apollo 13, yeah. The Water Boy, oh. yeah. Rock and Roll High School, whatever that is. That's the good uh, wrong. He passed away. The Church, Beast of Fear, yeah. Camp Out of the K. Was he passed away? Maybe I dreamt it, I don't know. He could be alive and well. So, yeah. Clint Howard, if you're listening. <laughs> he's don't listen us. Oh, I'm not dead. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not dead. 137 FM, no talk radio. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. He was in Blood Rain, the movie. It's Dr. Mangler. <laughs> what a, that's where most of the... Uh, the like, little big the, characters. The money are. went to was to pay yeah. mm-hmm. so, um, I remember him from a lot of movies, but he's I can't one of them you guys. one thing that he's in. Uh, but yeah, I, I never knew his name. It was just he was that guy, you yeah. know, that background character. He's like, uh, Howard, he's like Sam Raimi's brother, uh, Ted Raimi. He was yes, in, he's he was in, in Xena, Warrior Ted. Princess yeah. for a while. He's he, was in, in, he was kind of an actor, but he would mostly just show up in Sam Raimi movies. He was in uh, Evil Dead. Uh, he's in all the Spider Man. He's uh, J. Jonah Jameson's assistant. He kind of looks like Sam Raimi, but his glasses. He's not as prolific as Clint Howard because he doesn't seem to do any movies unless his brother's directing it. Well, you see a lot of Sam Raimi movies. You see Ted Raimi, but. Other than that, I think he was in Dark Man. But it was the same movie. That's one movie I've never seen. No, yeah, I got the DVD. Dark Man? Is there a guy who gets burned or something? It's uh, Liam Nielsen. Nielsen. <laughs> Liam, Liam. Liam Neeson. Neeson. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. And he gets all burnt up and stuff, and then uh, he's in revenge. And, and, What's and his name? And Ted Raimi? Yeah. Ted Raimi. I've never part. seen Lawnmower Man. Oh, my God. That's Ted Raimi. Oh, See, okay. it's that yeah, guy. It's He's in everything. Guys. There was this one of those fucking guys that's always <laughs> in the fucking oh, Never knows who the fuck he is. There's well, there's three awesome documentaries. They're all on Netflix. You should watch them all, all three back to back to back. There's okay. um, I know that voice, that guy that was in that thing, and that girl that was in that thing. <laughs> I know that voice is. A movie by uh, Bender from Futurama. That's oh, well, uh, he's ben, really uh, actor. Uh, uh, actor I'm almost said Vincent D'Onofrio. Yeah, it's yeah. all about uh, yeah, all about voice actors and like what's his name? Voice, um, I'm John Vincent Demand, like, yeah, I'm almost said Vincent. He's the Gears of War. He's the he's Marcus Joe Phoenix. Cast, uh, K- Joe Cast. It's the Nella. Dan, 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 Dan Cast. Cast Nella. Nella. Like you know who that is. Yeah, but but you hear about him more than you see mm-hmm. the man. And Nolan North is in a lot of things. Yeah. Billy they, don't really the, go the, they go in the video games a little bit, but it's mostly about like cartoons. But what's his name who did SpongeBob? Um, Tom Kenny. He's also no, 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 no. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, but the guy who did uh, Fry, uh, Billy, Billy West. Yeah, Billy West is everything. He is everything. He's the voice of the Red M and M. Well, okay. Um, I don't know. I never TV. met the guy. The guy on Mad TV. Uh, oh, uh, uh, Stewart. No, not Stewart. Yeah, he was there. He's, he was there, but. Yeah. Uh, oh God, no! Uh, so many Phil people. Lamar. Yes. Phil Lamar does. He does. Yeah. He, he's, 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 he's the guy Phil Phil in Pulp Fiction who got his head blown. In yes. Back. He was. Yeah. My yes. He voices like almost every black male character ever. Oh, but he has and, the, the whitest voice. He's really and deep. So he's got. He's got range. Mm. That's what you got. Does, yeah, I remember seeing like a, an interview with him about like the dozens and dozens of characters. Like, well, this guy could be a cop, so he'd be a little more grizzly. He'd be down here, and he'd be like, and then this guy could be an idiot. He'd be up here, you know. This yeah. Jerry Seinfeld all of a sudden. It's, it's, it's a pretty good Jamaican. Phil cause. Lamar yeah, he's, can do yeah. everything. He's a, he's he doesn't a, have to get in front of the camera no. anymore. He's, he just sits in front of a mic. That I'd love to, to be, be like the best job. I'd love to be voiceover. a voice actor. That documentary If you is can awesome. do it, man, because there's no stress, I wouldn't imagine. But the thing is, you have to, because there's nothing to go on, you have to imagine what the character yeah, sounds like. There's you have a to, reason you have why to, they're hiring these people. Yeah, because they're good at it, and they can do multiple voices, and they, they can, can, they can do the be like, multiple takes. Who, can, man? Who I don't like that voice. Okay, I'll change it up. I'll sound more like Donald Trump. Yeah, or like they can have like a good okay, direction. Guys. Okay. This thing, yeah, I can't. It's mostly a visual impression. That <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we had the video but, on or going on. But, yeah. The fingers. Okay, we're gonna okay. build a wall. It's gonna be a great big wall. I remember you did Donald busy. Trump one year, one time, one time like, when we were recording, episode, and yeah. he was like, "You <laughs> hit this really big lisp." And I was like, "Donald yeah. Trump doesn't have a lisp." <laughs> okay, you guys. I build a wall, you go something like that. I was like, "Everybody has a list where to make a fun of them." Yeah, there you go. Right, but the oh other God. movie you could watch, or um, what did I say they were called? 
uh, the girl that, that guy that was in that thing and that girl that was in that thing yeah. are about the Clint Howards of the world. The people God. that you see and you know by their face, but you can't, you mm-hmm. don't know their name. They've never been the star of something, but they are in everything. In everything. Because you look at him, he's like, that was the guy that was in that thing. Those movies are good. Yeah. So let, let's get at this trivia because I've been looking at it. Well, we don't have to go through we, we, gigantic I've been stack. drooling on and, that and we've been, <laughs> 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 What kind of laugh is that? I have mad, maniacal laughter. <laughs> sleep but, deprived. Yeah, yeah, but this yeah. this is the question that I laughed out loud earlier in the episode because it was just, it's just the stupidest question that may have existed. And how does this count as trivia? For one, you guys are going to know the answer. Yeah. But two, how would anyone else know this answer? Like, this question... So stupid. Okay. Well, I'm waiting with bated breath. Who is actor Matt Damon's best friend? <laughs> ben Affleck. That's the answer. But what are the chances that's his actual best friend? Uh, no, they were you like, can't change your best friend. They grew up in man. Boston. Yeah, I, well, they, grew, I they made a movie together. They want an Oscar together. They must be best friends. From forever. Boston. I know they're famous. They're they like Sam pals, Adams beer. Like, like that's that's a stupid. Well, I mean, question. maybe I they the maybe they called him up. How do you, just how seems do you, like a dumb. How thing. do you gauge your best friend? How, unless I say, hey, who is best friend? Mike is my I mean, best they, friend. they've both like been married multiple times, and I'm sure like maybe their wives are probably their best I, friends now. Who is it? They've been in different circles now. They never worked together in so long. But um, it's a dumb question. You know that <laughs> Matt Damon said he'd be in a Batman movie as long as Ben Affleck directed it. Oh, so they must be best friends. Who would he play? I'm thinking Victor Zaz. Who? Victor no. Zaz. Yes, he would be. Was crazy. That with, like, the little no, 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 no. From a that's Dark. That's, that's, that's in Hugo Strange. Okay. Dark Victor Zaz <laughs> is like the crazy serial killer. Like he'll like no. the little tallies all Actually, over his body. No, yeah. If he yeah, was, because he, he could, he could shave his head. He could shave yeah, his, his head him, because he had the, phys- yeah. the physiology. He because Victor Zaz is like not. He's not a super villain. Okay. He's just a serial he's killer. He's not the cal- no, not, I'm thinking the calendar man. He's the guy in <laughs> Arkham City that you gotta run around those dumb pay phones and be like. <laughs> No, yeah. that's Victor Zaz. Yes, yeah, that's yes, what that's I mean. Victor Zaz. Yeah, because Zaz. Victor Zaz is yeah. just like Zaz. Z-S-A-Z. Yeah. And he's, got he's just crazy. crazy. He's just crazy. He's just a crazy serial killer. Ma- Matt Damon could play Victor Zaz. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. Yeah. He could be sort of a minor he could character. he a damn good job at it. But um, he's not like a supervillain. He's just a recurring character. You know? And, and he's so crazy, he's unpredictable. But see, I like that. That's good. It makes a good character. That's what. That's what makes no. a good. Big desires. That's good depth to him. That's, a, that's where. That's why Batman has such <laughs> good characters. Is because they're crazy. Batman, Batman they're Joker, super, the Joker. They're just crazy. What's that famous quote? A hero is only good as good as its villains. Mm. Yeah. Batman, Spider Man, <laughs> the Flash. Am I, the Flash. I M O have the best. Yeah, because the, the Flash is Captain Cold. He's awesome. <laughs> now, I've, been watching, I've been watching that Flash TV show. And is it it takes the, so much ass. Was it like the live action show? Yeah, really. The CW like made See, by the same people made Vampire Diaries. I avoid it like the plague because of Vampire Diaries because it's of Smallville. Actually, awesome. I don't like. Don't tell me that because I'll I'll be thinking it's, about that now. It's so DC's TV Juicy sh- <laughs> sh- <laughs> TV show. Sheebies, TV Sheebies. series are way better and Sheebies. more well the, the TV they're more they're more good and they got less bad and then the movies <laughs> <laughs> although one Wonder Woman looks really good the Justice League looks really good but you know what is that's movies everything yeah. everything well, Wonder Woman looks really good anyway everything that people like about the Marvel movie universe is in the DC TV universe. Really? Yeah. Apparently, find, like, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. DC, is good. I find television tends to be dark. Mm. Now, what I don't like about... Well, like the Daredevils, like the straight to Netflix ones, they're super... They're back. They're really... Ooh. Not... Okay. I think Matt and I had a, Matt, had a talk about this at one point, mm. where we say that if you watch an, a Marvel movie, mm-hmm. specifically... Yeah. It's not held in darkness. It's yeah. like it's it happens really at any time of the day. And what I mean about <clears throat> darkness is lack of light. So hence you will see Captain America fighting somebody in the middle of the day. Yeah. Yeah. That was one of the things that I have a problem with. Whereas Batman V Super the Batman V Superman is like Dark. entirely at night. The establishing raining. stuff is in the day. It's, when, it's when, so when, when Bruce Wayne is kicking about, he's like, nee, nee, nee. when he's like running into big dust clouds and saving people. 
Yeah. But that's that's only partial to the movie of Batman. Mm-hmm. When you actually see Batman, he's always at night. And it's just he's drop wearing right a black time. suit. Yeah, but it's hard to see the visuals. Mm. Where Captain America is kicking ass in the mid- at twelve o'clock noon, yeah. high noon. Let's the sun it's is high noon. Head. I mean, come on. You guys are playing Overwatch. He's he's, he's kicking Voila. ass, <laughs> and, and Falcon is flying overhead yeah. and dropping. When they're school. busting you know crossbones I mean? well, in the Nigerian t- place, yeah, and the entire like my favorite part of Civil War, besides the confrontation of Spider Man and the Giant Man and all that fun stuff. Mm. Is when Captain America goes and finds Bucky. Bucky. And then they have this gigantic fight in the, the stairway, and then they're running yeah. around in the middle of the daytime, and they're like big and car chase, and like yeah. Black Panther's there, and it, it's daytime. People don't only do stuff at nighttime. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I'm Super Bell was like. People, oh, no. Oh, sun's still I, up. I gotta fight now. It's 12 Dude. o'clock. He has a very good Wario. 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 We cannot go as an eight. Oh, and, and no. I wish you were drunk. But <laughs> That'd be so much better. Right, you don't right, right. Marvel Marvel videos you can tell what's going on. Yeah. For the most for the most part. It's because all this stuff happens during the day. Where a lot of the it's hard to tell what's going on when you got somebody wearing a black costume and no I understand <laughs> what you want. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'm just I trying to understand what you want to do from the visual side of it all. But you can't get Batman in the day. That's like the end of Dark Knight I Rises understand. when he fights Bane in the streets. I understand, but let's let's throw some characters in that can the Flash stuff during the day. TV show is great. He does a lot of things during the day. Well, you can't see And, him. like I said, like when I make the comparison... Is it Wally of, West? Sorry. No, no it's Barry Allen. Okay. Yeah. The, the comparison I make between the TV and the movie mm. thing, <laughs> where it's more like the Marvel movies, is because it's light-hearted in tone. To a yeah. point. Like, it's kind of serious and dramatic when it needs to be, but there's also, like, a lot of... I love Tony Stark. Comedic back and forth, yes. And Tony Stark is kind of moments, like, quips yeah. and, like, not taking Star-Lord. itself too seriously, but there's also lots of, like, references to not only it's the show itself and other shows, but, like, other shows will have crossovers. Like, there was an entire episode when Green Arrow showed up from the Green Arrow show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Into he, what? The Flash? Yeah. The Flash. Okay. Yeah. And then, like, Super a Girl? bunch of... Yeah. She's crossing yeah. over. Let's play Super yeah. Girl so And then there's that other... That other... Uh, they DC. didn't put her in because she was ugly, for sure. Mm. <laughs> Darn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the DC Legends of Tomorrow is a pretty good show. It's all built up of, like, super villains and heroes. Yeah. And heroes. Yeah. That were originally on Green Arrow and The Flash, and they all kind of, like... Yeah. They have crossovers constantly, so it's a lot better maintained than the DC movies. We're coming feels, up on an hour ten. Oh, wow. An hour ten? There's we at didn't, least, at we least didn't, ten minutes to cut it. We, yeah, we didn't talk about a thing. We talked, we talked, yeah, about, we talked about a thing. We didn't. Well, we started about yeah. Resident Evil 4, but PlayStation did, games. I just yeah. remember some questions. questions. Talking about comic books and movies. But yeah. the thing is, well, uh, the uh, me time. and Lissy were like cleaning up because my apparently my apartment's dirty. Yeah. My wife was like, we gotta clean this. I was like, all right. Well, as I, I said, it does feel like it's been touched by a woman. It's really... We washed everything. you have a tablecloth? Yeah. <laughs> was that was that fire extinguisher always there? Yes. Okay. Came with the place. It did. Okay. But uh, we were cleaning up, and I found my old, old my old art book, and which is like just notes about the podcast. And I write down, you know, like we used to we used to plan this. Yeah. Was the last to, time we did a do not watch? At that, at that months point. ago. Uh, or better than you think. Um, I'm going to throw this out there because I've watched the whole series on Netflix. If you guys haven't watched it, I Is would it suggest it. Like and Batman. anybody, Troll Hunters by <laughs> Gilmar Gil. Gil. <laughs> really? Awesome. 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 I'm so good. Like, like, uh, Dwayne <laughs> tried to sell me on that. No, like, it is super what? good. Dwayne has a bad taste. I mean, Guillermo del Toro. As you can tell, he's a genuine man. He's just genuine. He's a big boner for it. Yeah. He's, he loves everything he does, and you know everything he does. He it's has a really es- essentially a massive boner to make yeah. it. A massive boner. I think it's just the way Spaniards talk that doesn't translate. Yeah. 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 But yeah, like anything he does, I'll I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah. Pacific Rim watch was it. great. Hellboy good. was great. The one Sp- it's, Blade it's Two really is the best Blade movie. And the he, Devil's man, Spine that was amazing. It's really movie. strange because it almost seems like there's 20 episodes. For the first season. Yeah. You would think that 20 episodes would be from start to finish. The first, the only arc would be the first 20 episodes. No. 
There's two arcs in that in those twenty episodes. So mm. you would think that the bad guy, the main bad guy that you would first see, would be done at tw- episode twenty. No, no, it's no. Actually, sorry, twenty four episodes. Okay, he's done in like. Ten 12, episodes. Ten, so it was like twelve. So, was like, so there's another. It's almost two seasons in one. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and that's and that's the cool thing about it because I got through it and I'm like, they took him out already, and then there was more episodes. I like that because it like it seems like a lot of special. Sorry. They they Especially made like, somebody else the bad guy. Yeah, and I, like you know. I like things that are short, and sweet too. Like Stranger Things, only eight episodes, still a good show. Yeah, liked it. It, it Jessica Jones show. and Daredevil like thirteen episodes. Dared Evil still liked it, still good. But at Excellent. the same time, like, I, like I said, I started watching The Flash, and I'm just watching the season one now. Yeah, and I'm on episode twelve, and there's twenty four episodes in a season, and like it, it does Big feel seasons. yeah, yeah. I know maybe it's because it's actual broadcast television, but Troll Hunters is original Netflix. It's only for so, Netflix, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. It's uh, check it out. It is, and it's not. It doesn't take a long time to get into. Yeah. The first episode fills you in, and then everything else is. It's got those filler episodes where it focuses on yeah. one episode, one character more mm-hmm. yeah. than the others, but it's it's entertaining. Yeah. The whole like I've sat through basically my whole Christmas break. Yeah. Is I sat down because they released it on Christmas Day. And I sat down and I just started watching mm-hmm. them and watching them and watching them. Yeah. And, and I enjoyed all of it. That's it's cool. it's really cool. I think a lot of people, if you, if you haven't checked it out, check it out. Yeah. It's really cool. Another thing about The Flash that you speaking of, like you had mentioned, like filler episodes, stuff like that. There doesn't seem to be a lot of filler because there seems there every single episode. There is a different and a new supervillain that shows up. Well, there's a lot of DC supervillains. Yeah, so there's a ton of like things happening, but there are some like recurring ones, like Captain Cold's in two episodes already. It's awesome. Do you, okay, who's that like the main bad guy? Because there's always a main bad. Captain is it Cold is reverse the... reverse Flash. Actually. I was gonna say it must be Reverse, reverse Flash. Because oh, that his hinting at it like throughout the entire like every <laughs> single episode. You know, at the end of like Marvel movies, there's a stinger to like the next big thing. So there's like four with Thanos. And every single, at the end of every single episode, like, oh, the main story's wrapped up, there's one super villain's in jail, okay, blah, blah, it's great. And then, it'll, like, the Flash. And then there'll be like a 30 second little scene, which gives more into it's the Mortal. big overarching story. Which okay. they do, there's a couple episodes that are just about that. But it's like building up this entire thing, and... But you don't have these boring in, in between episodes because everything there's like a new villain and all this kind of stuff is really is it, well it, done, fast paced. But there's also a big story going on too. Isn't it like? Is it, is it on Netflix right now? I don't know if it's on Netflix. Like I said, I've been watching it on uh, uh, TV box. I know. I know. Arrow. Was Supergirls on, on Netflix. Yeah, it's on the American Netflix. I know that because I seen it when I was down in Florida, yeah. and. The reason why I didn't watch it before was because it wasn't on the Canadian Netflix. Okay. But I've been watching it now that I have the means to watch it. Gotcha. Gotcha. But the illegal Amazon. Uh, it's a great Amazon. Movie. Amazon. The illegal Amazon, Amazon. box. Yeah. Well, and, technically, well, the idols bought. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine with living without it, to be honest. Yeah. I, well, I didn't like want it. Now that it was there. And now that you have it, you're like. How do I live, live with without this? it? Yeah, without it. Because once you, once you, okay, once, I want to feel. I want to check out the first episode. Yeah, because it took black sales, for example. That's on. Let's go and we find black sales. Oh, this anything, looks good. Anything and everything you could possibly think. Like, just Netflix original shows are on there. Yeah, Hulu original shows are on there. Like Amazon. That Prime. doesn't sound perfectly legal, but it's okay. Not. It it is. <laughs> well, it is. You're not downloading anything. You're it's streaming. just streaming it. So it's not mm-hmm. technically private piracy. The people who are like because you're not storing having this. It. Yeah, exactly. You can, but I don't. Yeah. Ooh. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, you recommended Troll Hunters. I recommend. Definitely. I recommend would. I'd say Flash. better than you, think, you think. I would say Suicide Squad. I've seen that recently. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, pretty good. People have been. I've watched it again recently as well. I don't watched it once. I don't. It was my second viewing. The first time I was in the theater with the 3D and the big hooray. I'm in Montreal. Mm-hmm. And I'm really drunk. <laughs> <It was great. laughs> I wish I was all of that. Yeah. 
And that was good. Like, oh, I just so good. realized. But after watching it again in normal, like my living room, I'm tired after work, but still watching it and still being as entertaining as it was the first time. Yeah. That movie, there's nothing wrong with it. Have has anybody seen the Legend of Kubo? Legend. Of was that? Did you dream that? No, that's like an animated uh, the, thing. The I've, I've been looking CG. at it and wondering to get like. Uh, have you? You, you I haven't obviously it. you've it's I just realized that it was released on Blu-ray. Yeah. I just released today I realized mm-hmm. today that it was released. It looks like it got a really cool kind of style. It's it looks like a three damn cool style. It looks like Samurai Jack but three D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It I looks like Samurai really Jack. Cool. But in three D. Sh- I'm I'm gonna go buy it on Blu ray tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think this has been a good ep- well, first episode anyway. anyway. First episode anyway. of the year? First episode of the twenty one seven Is this is this technically season two? Um. Yeah. So. You know, some yeah. podcasts do that. They have, they have two. like yeah, they have like the big seasons, three podcasters, eh? and then they'll take a little break and they'll come back with a new season and stuff like that. We could call it season two, episode one. <coughs> Good or sure. I don't know. Uh, is it more confusing to do just that keep going or just keep going 21. numeric? Because I want to hit that number one hundred at some point. Yeah, yeah, let's keep let's keep doing like episode numbers. Yeah. Because we're going to get to like 50 soon. The well, we can break it down by, se- by, by seasons too. And just keep going with yeah. it. Mean, How about like, we do by year? Like the big three does. Okay. Ugh. So this is 2017. It's the first one, 2017. Hooray. Yeah, because, <laughs> well, too, also, if you say, I'm going to listen to episode 17, and you listen to it in 2000. Like, I've heard this one already. In 2025, it's going to be like, well, I already know about all this shit because it's way old. So, well, but anyway. But they got dates on them as they put them up. Yeah. What up? As they, as we, we. whoever. But anyway, we signing should, off. This, signing off this has been a good episode, episode you know, for once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Mark a drunk, getting drunk. I am actually. Mark. Just going I'm, right I'm, to I'm Mark. I'm, Mark. Well, Mark. I'm well caffeinated. It's fine. So, uh, Mike is on call, he can't drink, but I look forward to getting you saucy in the near future. Saucy. How about, not, how about this coming, not, how about weekend from now? <laughs> one week from What's tonight. What's cider? One week from Are tonight. Are you a little bit saucy too there, Matt? The strong boy hits me like a brick. <laughs> how about, like, next, this coming weekend? I'm sure we can make something work. Yeah, let's get you just fucking drunk. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, this has been 1337FM, Nerd Talk Radio, signing off.